enough playing around. Let's get down to some serious drawing. A clownfish. I start with drawing an oval shape, making sure the lines are nice and firm before I continue. Then I draw on the shape for the smile. Around the smile I add some thick lips. Most fish have lips in fact. Just notice next time you see one. Then the eye before I start on the fins. Notice that the clownfish fins are very rounded. Take your time to draw each one properly. Next, I draw the teeth and the tongue. Then one line for the inside of the mouth. Then follows the clownfish patterns. These patterns are very important to get right if you want to give it the genuine clownfish look. Four lines on the main body. Two on the tail fin. And one of the rest of the fins. Next, I drew a little baby clownfish. It looks just like its mother, only smaller. The next step is the animals. I draw curvy lines up and down using a blue pencil. These animals is one of the clownfish favorite playgrounds. Okay. Now I'm ready for coloring. Make sure you follow the same color pattern as me so that you end up with a true clownfish look. After coloring the whole fish once, I do it one more time. I want to make sure that the color is strong so that it will look good when I apply the water. Next, I color up each part of the clownfish with bright warm colors. Finally, it's time to apply the water. I use a fine soft brush and carefully paint each shape. Every time I switch to a new color, I have to rinse the brush thoroughly so that I don't mix the colors. Later, when it's dry, you can add more color. The next step is to color an even layer of turquoise all over the water and the animals. Then I get my big soft paintbrush out and wash water all over it. When the paper is dry, I color in the animals with a green pencil and I strengthen the outlines that was washed away. I continue coloring with a darker turquoise and finely blue on the tips. The second layer of animals I color with just soft blue. Then I paint the soft ones in one by one. When I paint the animals in front, I make sure I start at the lightly colored bottom and move up to the darker top. That way, the dark color stays on top where it's supposed to be. Again, I have to wait for it to dry before I can continue with the black stripes. The black stripes are very important for the look of the clownfish. So I rub down the lines hard to make it solid black.
Then I outline with red. I could have chosen black outline, but somehow red looks more fun and colorful. Finally, I add blue outline. First to the anemones, then to a few bubbles in the water. Just my signature and I'm done.